Here's your weekend market review for Saturday, June 1st, 2024. Let's go. Hey everyone, this is my channel to help investors and traders develop a probability-based mindset to succeed. Also try and keep friends informed of what's going on in the markets and the economy, and also a little real estate content as well. This is Dan Max at EXP Realty, aka The Trading Agent, and this is your weekend market review for the weekend of Saturday, June 1st, 2024. Hopefully you're having a great weekend as we speak. Going to be an interesting week. Not surprised by the down, not surprised by the close. Again, if you're paying attention to the channel, subscribe, check out Twitter, join the Discord room. We're basically implying that we know a lot <laughs> in a probability-based game. 20 years experience, we talk in dialogue on this Discord room, as you see, about certain things, and we have expectations and, and talk about the potentialities and how to manage the markets intraday to even current the moment, you know, or a week, a month from now. And so if you have questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Always here to help. So we know going into next week, it's the start of the month, right? New money fund flows typically come in. You got some at the end of the day on Friday. Not surprised we talked about that, especially if the market was down. Well, now going into next week, we have the jobs number on Friday. So I'm anticipating some more chop. You have the uh, manufacturing numbers earlier in the week. Earnings is basically over except for Lulu on Wednesday, which I'm anticipating that to be an absolute crap show. So... Let's get into it for new channel, Discord room, link description below. Please, again, follow on the Twitter. Oh, come on, guys. There we go. This is, again, posting tons of trades, always. Trades, ideas, thoughts, what we're up to. Check it out. Also, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on the YouTube. I appreciate it. There also is a video. First and last three trading days of the month. Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Check it out. Need to hit me up? Wanted to schedule a Zoom chat? Here you go. Down link again in the description below. Also check out the website, recommended reading list, all the videos, education series, real estate stuff, Twitter stuff, all sorts of fun stuff. Any resource you might need related to our business. And again, if you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, OMG, hit me up. Let me know how I can help. All right. I don't know why I'm going to LinkedIn, but yeah, hit me up on LinkedIn. Sure. All right. We know the CME futures, Fed Fund futures. Let's see. Let me double check. I don't think they really changed much. Okay. Yeah. So now the, it went from 1% rate hike to 4%. I'm assuming again, January or sorry, September would be the first likelihood. Remember if the feds start cutting rates, it's not because things are great guys. Just keep that in mind and the market will price that in Bitcoin watching these levels, 71,000 again, and then back to the fed fund futures. If, if the, the, the screaming gets louder for rate cuts, be careful. It means the economy is hitting the shizner, getting bad quick. Oil, we talked about the man, economic activity is falling off a cliff. The earnings are bad. Sorry. So here you go. Oil chopping around again. We like natural gas long term, but as we talked about from the rose, that there's going to be some pullback potentialities after you start rising. Because again, the economy is going to slow. What's the right price for natural gas? I don't think it's going to go below this buck 40, buck 50 level. So if you did buy it down here and you want to trade around your positions, great. If you want to disappear for a year or two and you own some natural gas names, there's a possibility too. Just be careful. I like long-term. Dollar, flagging, holding up 200-day TLT. The economic data was bad, and so people bought bonds. Watch this 20-day, this cross, this little trend. I'm again, this just trend line, keep an eye on this area. VIX. Talked about it hitting the 200 day backing off. There you go. Bing. 20 day fills the gap. Watch the gap. Spy. We talked about the Friday. We talked about Friday. We were down, right? Then you got the rally into the close. New money, new month, whatever, end of month position squaring. Not surprised. We talked about this. Look at the close. Interesting. Now, again, if you're trading around your positions, you're managing, looking good. Again, if you short it up here, not a problem, right? QQQ lagging. This is what we talked about. So this is where it gets a little deeper, right? Q's lagging, 20 day. Keep an eye on it. Interesting close. Again, keep an eye because I think the high is in. I think we got bull traps everywhere, but this one candle doesn't change everything. But we talked about the DIA. If you go look at my post, the DIA was oversold near term. So of course it rallies. IWM chopping around. Watch this 20 day 206, 205 area. And this is the DIA. Again, this is what led the up, right? DIA has been getting smoked. We talked about being oversold near term. Okay. Now, going to the jobs number, this is what you should expect on the back of your mind. Do not be surprised if you get some digestion. You could get some higher, you get some chop, and then what, right? That's what I'd be anticipating. To me, I'm looking for lower highs. That's what I'm looking for. Not just a 
retest of the high, but I'm thinking lower highs and then shorting from there. And again, we'll know as the week plays out again, don't try to predict the market, right? Don't. And again, when I say don't predict, like try to be probability based, like, could you get to the 20 day? Could you get to the eight day? Could you fill the gap? Like you have to watch and say, all right, this is what are the odds. Gold talked about this. Do not buy. Do not chase. It's an M top in my opinion, 20 day longer term. Yeah, it's going to be fine. Near term, it's going to be a crapshoot. Again, the best time to buy gold, silver miners will be when the Fed's pivot. Silver, another M top. GDX. Check it out, right? Chop, chop. Chop, chop. Could break the channel. GDXJ. Again, we like the dust. I got stopped out. Didn't really get back into it, but I'm watching it. Here you go. Look where the GDXJ held. These are why the levels matter. This is why you watch these videos. That's why you donate. That's why you leave comments. You hit the like button. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you. Again, if you're making money off of this, let me know. I'm happy to hear <laughs> again all this is free AEM 20 day been holding up better this is again what a again what's really taught to trust silver what ag is just lagging you know silver's making new high but ag the actual you know first majestic big silver producer not following newmont it's rain old like reference areas under the 20 day pass and this has been interesting because this has been holding up much better but when you zoom out you still go hmm huh. Got a lot of uh, upside, but also is just, I mean, it's coming out of a consolidation base. So is it a squeeze near term or is it really going to go? That's the question you have to ask yourself. I, I personally think, again, these are squeezes and then they'll come right back. And meaning when they come right back, like the market, when it pulls back, they'll take, throw the baby out of the bathwater, as I like to say. I want semi if you shorted the three-day range at the highs. Woo Looking good, right? Okay. Near term, a little oversold. Cool. Watch the eight, 10 day. Watch. Again, I'd probably watch, remember, we talk about high volume highs, high volume lows, like the closes, opens matter. We'll be watching that 153s. And again, don't bring a ruler to trading. Mike Vaughn, we talked about this one, you know, bull trap, 20 day. Again, it's not going to be one direction every day or all day. <clears throat> AMD, chopping 20 day, stuck in video. We told you selling longer term calls, you're going to be fine. Then we said three day range. And so after earnings, there's the three day rule, right? Three day rule. Typically prices, if you're going down after earnings or up after earnings, typically get stuck in three day range or like three days is usually how long it takes to price in all the bad or good news. One, two, three. Look at that. Boom. Chopping around. Then again, send the videos. I love that. Like you said, I like selling out of the day, out of the money, longer term calls. SMCI. Again, I like this stock longer term. I, I thought the earnings were good. I think the market cap is priced pretty low. But again, this is the thing. When you go from 200 up to 1250, you're going to consolidate. And so I'd be watching that 679 because you probably can reference that. Again, here, look at this. As a buy point, you can reference this thing all day. And the sell point, right, would be that 1000 level until it gets over. Trade the ranges. Intellectual property. Again, people are like, oh, it's a long term buy. I'm like, man, I don't trust this company yet. I mean, this thing's a turd. Did it bounce here after all this chop? Yeah, absolutely. But I mean, it's not, if it doesn't follow the market, what happens when the market goes down? It goes down too. Yikes. SMH, that kind of thing looks like a bull trap and got over the highs, man, closed over it. Impressive squeeze in the close. Got to give it worth credit. I mean, we talked about it in the Discord room. Don't be surprised by a squeeze at the close. Adobe, again, CRM got blasted and that's one of big, a component of the um, Dow. We'll see. Again, all these like software names had some selling off. Uh, Apple watching the 192 is talking about Chop Top. Amazon, the perfect M Top. Da, 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 da. McDonald's loving it. But what do we say? Watch the 100 day. So far, the 100 day is holding. Could chop for a little bit. Meta talked about this for eight, like 470s, 480s. Just watch this blue box. 100 day did not break. So again, maybe you can chop around. CRM. We identified. This area down here, not surprised it could be due for a bounce. It's interesting because the CEO just keeps selling $3 million worth of stock every day. No one cares. He's been dumping like as fast as he can. I mean, it, he needs more toilet paper, all this dumping he's doing. Gaps down on earnings. Okay. Oversold rally, right? Guggenheim. This one's been holding up pretty well, but watch this area, right? Like you got to hold the 20 day. You got to hold this 170s. Microsoft, again, software names got with CRM. Trap top trap did not break the hundred day again. A lot of a lot of squeeze squeeziness into the close, right? Nasdaq NDAQ again. I love this name. Ooh, chop at the hundred day and then pow, the pow. Micro strategy again. If you reference the seventeen hundred area for short, boom. Talked about having to close below it. Look at it. They brought it right back into our range. Twenty day held. 
Okay, chop around a little bit. Potentially Netflix and Spill or Chill. Oh, man, this is a interesting chart. Like you're between no man's land. Like go with or go with. Make sense? Up, down. You've got a channel or a, or a zone. Uh, Roblox, same. Just ugh, nothing. I don't know. Nothing to say. Pan W. This has been interesting. If you shorted the highs, or again you didn't chase. We talked about the gap down earnings. It retested the area. And then we said once it breaks 302, it could probably drop some more. There you go. Now, near term, I'd be watching this level. I'd be watching this 301, what happened? Maybe the 20 hundred day cross. Again, I like this company long term. If Nancy Pelosi's buying it, you know she knows something's going on. But again, I would let the baby get thrown out of the bathwater, see what the market does. Tesla, under day, chopping, consolidating under it. Good luck if you want to buy that. Got me out. Uh, DKNG, we talked about DraftKings, how peak betting season is March Madness. And then after that, at some point, this thing will get crushed. Got it. Great trade. Near term, oversold. Again, if you want to sell some puts, go right ahead. Let it consolidate. I mean, I'd be watching that 39, 40 area for a bounce. And if it doesn't bounce, even better. So again, if you want to hedge with selling puts, probably sell out of the money deeper and try to get it with the implied volatility a little higher. Uh, no, uh, what is this? Airbnb. Gap down in earnings, 200 day. Costco had earnings on Thursday. Friday's action, look at that, 20 day. Okay. Got to give it credit where credit's due. We talked about Starbucks being an absolute turd and then needing to consolidate after a big down move. Okay, chopping around. Nothing really much to say. Better Express, we talked about this like every day down, every day down. We said at some point it's due for a bounce, like even here. Well, where's the next? I mean, it's got to be 256. Like put, set an alert. <laughs> Watch this area. Add an alert. 255 plus. Keep an eye on it because that could be an easy reference. Caterpillar. Some of the homies shorten. Looking good. Now near term. Don't be surprised at chops here. Don't be surprised. Right? New core. Talk about this breaking the 170 area. Chopping around. Okay. X. Again, I think X gets bought. I just don't know by who and what time, what time frame, what price. I'm looking for dips. Not a. Talk about don't chase the pop. All right, back into the lows. Just let it play out, man. Arrow, copper names. We talked about them. These gaps did not look good. And now you're coming back into the blue box of chopness. Keep an eye on it. Go with, go with. Either way. CCJ, we talked about this. You know, again, I don't trust it because of Goldman upgrades. But hey, I will be wrong. I do not bat a thousand. Again, all it takes is 300 to get into the Hall of Fame. And trading doesn't, you don't need to be a bat a thousand. Just, Sometimes you're going to be wrong. Well, this one, holding up. Again, we like your aim while we're on. Again, I like all commodities. Go watch my videos from 2021. Longer term. I love commodities. I love gold. No, I love all commodities. CF, chopping around. Let it play out. Mosaic, same kind of thing. Let these names just chop around. NTR, chop around, chop around, chop around, round. AA, again, we'd like aluminum a lot. Holding up pretty well. When you zoom out, you can see it's got a lot of upside. But again, I'd like for them to throw the baby out with the bathwater. And then again, after this consolidation bottom, a bounce, and then that big, like the first big pullback will get bought. And that's where it's like mm -hmm, stage two, big zipper, ripper. XLF, we talked about shorting this, looking good. But also we said, don't be surprised. Don't be surprised by what? Some bounces, a little stronger than I thought, honestly, again. But we watched that blue zone. Like, don't chase. We say never chase. And there's your bounce. Keep an eye on it. JP Morgan. Again, if Damie Diamond's not buying the stock, why would you? I'd be watching some of these references. Again, where exactly? Probably get better on the 10 minute, but man, that stock to me is an absolute short. Jay Solstice was talking about it. I mean, like, if Jamie Diamond doesn't think the stock's a buyback up here, why would anyone want to buy it? Morgan Stanley, three day range. Watch the lows around 96, 60. Bank of America, 40 area, holding up. Got to give it credit where credit's due. We talked about multi day range. Man, that would have squeezed you out. I'd be keeping on it for Monday, see what happened Monday, Tuesday. Goldman Snacks. Again, if you've got a Marcus account, you're not losing money. This is near new all time highs. Looks good. Carry. Again, we talked about junior banks. Problem. Problem. But we talked about, again, oversold. Don't be surprised by it. I mean, again, unless the market's in absolute meltdown mode, which it isn't in the VIX and the 14, you're going to get these oversold bounces. XPI, remember, it's the summer chopness. Double bottom, 200 day. Leave it. Chop it. Again, I apologize. All the. All the, the zippers with the mouth. And watch this area, 48. So, you know, I think, again, Sedge. I mean, I, 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 mean, I don't know where this is going to end up, but I have a feeling it's coming back into the, coming back to the past, going back to the future. ENPH, again, this one's a little interesting. And, uh, 
watch this area first solar set on thursday or friday or wednesday or thursday i'm like watch these multi-day ranges i again ai into solar wow great <laughs> chat gpt no no just it, again to me it feels like it's topping i'm watching out uh again you got to be high in your mind to be corporate debt whatever moving on oil chopping around chopping around ung again i hate the ung i like short and kld oh i hit the 200 day bam like chef Admiral, bam we talked about the kld if you took profits in the 30s you're feeling good feeling great i'd be watching the 50s maybe even 62 that short that again i mean you can do that over and over and over and over and over again xop what do you think right holding chopping around i mean this is where it gets hard right summer chop exxon mobile what did we say watch the 113 area that's a nice rally on their part I mean, maybe it's a, could we break the downtrend? I don't know, something like that. You get what I'm doing. Something like that. Keep an eye on that. Go with, maybe, Valero. Gasoline names. Look at these things have been oversold. Okay, nice little bounce. NPC, oversold, dropping around at the lows. Could it bounce? Makes sense. CVE, again, we like this one longer term, dropping around. AQT, again, I'm not a big fan of buying these like for the long term, but you can trade them. I, just, uh, I don't know. Again, yeah, Occidental. I mean, these are just big, a lot of them are in big choppy ranges. And that's where, if I'm you, you, me, I mean, this can go on for a while. It might be easier just to leave them alone. And last but not least, Flex LNG. Check this out, right? Chopping around. I think we'll be natural gas exporters in time. All right. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. I love you guys. I really do appreciate the little support, generous donations. If you have questions about real estate, do not hesitate to reach out. Always here to help. Use the Calendly link. Let me know what I can do. Drop a question, drop a comment, hit the like button. That is appreciated. All right. Have a great weekend. Talk to you soon.